Hello YouTube. This just came in, the Tagal Multi Sharpener from Japan. We're going to talk about this in this video. Okay, well here's a close-up of the Tagal Multi-Sharpener. So you see it's a plastic sharpener. And it tells you right in the back here, get in the focus. It's from Katsuwa, Japan. Tagal Multi-Sharpener. It comes in different colors, and this one happens to be kind of a light greenish color, as you can see, with white lettering. And it has this adjustment for the lead length and then it has a close where it actually closes that opening you can see that when I do this it opens it up and then you can select whether you want the smallest sharpened point which pretty much matches a point that you would get on one of those little pencils uh, at the golf course those little tiny points and then it incremen inc incrementally but <laughs> would be longer and longer as you go all the way to five. So five is the longest setting here. So we'll start at number one, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen a brand new uh, Nataraj uh, bold uh, pencil here. It hasn't been sharpened yet, and we'll start from the number one here, and you just stick that in there like so. And what I've noticed is that you, you should check periodically because if you don't check your point, it, it'll just keep sharpening and it doesn't seem to ever stop. And then you chew up, I chewed up uh, a Palomino Golden Bear until it was this big. I just kept going like this and talking to somebody and didn't realize that it wasn't going to stop on its own. So you know, be, be aware of that. So you can see here that number one gives you a little tiny point like this which for a regular writing I think is just kind of useless but you know if you have those little tiny pencils at the golf course or whatever and you want a tiny point there you go and if we go to two they'll take a little bit off a little more wood there's number two just a little bit longer then we'll go to number three. There's number three. We'll go to number four. There's the point for number four. You can see that it is even longer than the last. And then, of course, the longest is five. And there's the point for number five. Now, how long is the longest point that you can get with this sharpener? Well, let's compare. Okay, we'll go ahead and see if we can get that to focus here. I'm on camera. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and sharpen. Let's say with the helix here. It's already sharpened. Okay, that's good. And here's my long point sharpener. Okay, with the helix. Now, comparing from the paint, you can see a big difference that the multi-sharpen is nowhere as long as let's say the helix the lead part is going to be identical but it's not going to sharpen as far back then we can also try for example the comb sharpener and I'll break off this lead again We'll use the, the comb here. I just broke my lead. 
You know, this is all done in real time, folks. No pausing, no tricks. So, as far as no tricks, I'm going to take one of my toothpicks here because I'm going to have to take this lead out. This doesn't happen very often. Let's do this again. Okay, and sharpen the end. I had pushed it in too hard last time. There we go. Now let's compare it to the comb sharpener. The combs to the left. And the multi-sharpener to gall is on the right. So you can tell that it's a different kind of length. It's not really the long points as far as in comparison to the wood shaving. And as far as the lead itself, it also falls a little short in that that as well if I get this to zoom in you can see the Tagal's on the right and the Coombs on the left which is a longer point so it's pretty much to the naked eye here I could tell that the Tagal multi sharpener the number of five setting really isn't a long point compared to the long points that uh, I have used um, with the Helix or with the Coomb or with the new Koo Masterpiece that I showed in a previous video, or even this um, Appsera uh, Freebie Sharpener, which if I go ahead and stick that in the sharpener, and you should be able to see when it focuses here. Focus quickly, please. There we go. You should be able to see that it doesn't even make it to the stop. So I can actually keep going a little more with this sharpener to give you a point that is longer than the Tagal. However, my impression of the Tagal sharpener is I think it's a nice handy sharpener. I like the fact that it keeps all the stuff inside and uh, you just open it, dump it in the trash and then close it back up. If you want you can close off this uh, here to keep stuff from coming out when you have it in your pocket has five nice adjustments so you can you know of course change the length so it's really nice it's very inexpensive and uh, I like it it's, it's, it's a nice little sharpener for my collection so if you like this review please give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already please subscribe and comments down below and I'll see you in the next video